Hi, in this session, we will see how to use a template in a smart forms. We can use a template when the number of rows and columns are fixed. Okay, we cannot use a template when we have a continuous number of rows. Like suppose if you want to print a purchase order line item, okay, so there the number of rows are not fixed. There might be 10 line items, 20 line items. Okay, so in that case, we can we cannot use a template. Okay, so when using template in each text element, we have to assign the row and column position. Okay, where that particular row text will be displayed. We can also create different number of columns in each row. Also, we can adjust the height of each row. Okay, let's have a look here. In this example, this is one template. The, in the first row, we can create only single column. In the second row, we can have three columns with a color shading. Okay, in the third row, again we have three columns, but there is no background color, there is no shade. Okay, so we can use the template when the number of rows are fixed. So we'll see how to create it. Go to a smart forms. This is our smart form which we have created. Now first declare three variable. Let me declare as gv underscore what we have here. That is a due amount, amount paid and balance amount. Okay, this gv underscore due and the type will be dmbtr gv underscore paid the type is again team video third one is gv underscore balance amount again take as dmbtr okay now go to initialization okay we can also create a single program lines here so what we'll do right click here create a program line okay we'll take all those three variable in the output parameter that is gv underscore due gv underscore paid and third one gv underscore balance for example gv underscore due equal to let's say 10 lakhs and the amount paid equal to let's say seven lakh fifty thousand. Okay, now the balance will be that is the due minus paid amount. Okay, so this is the program lines which we have created okay it will just create an insert a loop just bring after the loop okay now we'll create template right click here create template give the heading as summary now we can either create the rows and columns by selecting this line or we can go to details. So here we'll go in detail. Here we can set the overall width of the template. So we'll set as let's say 120 mm. Alignment we can we'll put as center. Now what we'll do? In the first row, there will be only single column. Okay, so that is let's give as R1 from row 1 to row 1. The height will set as 10 mm and the total width will be 120 mm. Okay, this is our first row. Now the second row will be that is from 2 to 2.
here we will set the height again as 10 mm now here we will create three columns of 40 mm length each okay let's say 40 second one is 40 again the third one is 40 mm so we created first two row one two now we created third one this will be copy of second give the name as r3 but here we will set the height as 5 mm okay so in each row we can have different number of columns and we can set a line save activate first we'll print the data overlapping lines number okay here we have to change that is the line number three wait close this here this is the row number three okay now to print a text element right click here create text we'll take the first one as heading change this we'll keep this as 20 mm the height will keep as 20 just for demo purpose we can set any required length okay now here we have printed text but in which row or column we want to display this for that go to the output option here you can see the line number and the column number we want to print this on the first line and the first column okay now create one more text write as due amount let's say font is 12 okay and the bold we'll make it make this as bold Okay, this is coming as bold underline no problem now go to output option here this will be the line number two and the column number one so in this way we have to set the line and column number we'll copy this paste the second one is paid amount right paid amount go to the output option you want to print row number two and the column number two okay and the third one that is the balance amount right there as balance amount okay go to output option okay before moving further we'll test this how this data is coming what we'll do execute execute effect okay the summary is not coming we'll see that on do amount build amount balance amount now you can see here we are getting the three columns but there is no border due to, to template okay so we'll see how to create border too now before that we'll see why this is not displaying I think there is a issue of height let me check here summary the row one column one oh this is wrong here okay now test again now you can see this printing the heading okay I think the height is very high let's make as 10 now what we'll do how to create a border click on table painter here click on this icon select pattern display frame pattern 
will select as this one now you can see the border at all the levels activate execute execute now you can see the border at all the level the first row is having the single column the second row having the three columns in third row we'll print the value now we'll also do the shading to this second row okay how to do that go here select the row by clicking that press control select each color go to color go to shading now we'll do shading like gray color okay seven activate execute you can see the shade to the columns okay so in this way depending on our requirement we can select a different colors from this available colors okay now we'll print the value in the third row right click here click on create text here we'll printing the values okay so click on insert field ampersign gv underscore due in the output options line number three and the column number one create a new one it will be line number three and the column number two okay so for each text element we have to give the line row and column number click on insert now second one is gv underscore paid that is the paid amount okay now we'll click the third one which value we have to declare that is gv underscore balance okay again click create click on insert field ampersign gv underscore balance in the output option it is the row number three and the column number three seven activate execute so we can see the value in the third row okay so in the first row we have created only single column in the second row we have created three columns but with the box setting in third row we have created three columns with a normal without any box setting okay so in this way we can make use of the template where the number of rows are fixed we can adjust the height we can adjust the color of the box we can use a different font instead of template okay so in this way we have finished the session on template in the next session we will see how to use the table in smart forms thank you